All right, in this video, we will talk about how to link the PLC Next software with the PLC Next hardware. So the software which we are using is PLC Next Engineer 2020.0. This is the version. So I'm using this version so you can relate. If you are working on this version, this video suits perfectly for you. So the first step is you have to make sure your PLC is connected to PLC, uh, your PC via Ethernet cable. So you can see here, we have this Ethernet cable and this is linked to my computer and the PLC is powered on. All right, so my computer is connected to this PLC via Ethernet cable. Now I want to show you how to check the IP addresses. This is very important. So what we do is we go to the network connections and here if I see my Ethernet, and I go to its IPv4 and I have mentioned this IP address 192.168.1.34 and this is a default gateway. Now the PLC which is provided to you by PLC NIC has a default IP address which is I think 192.168.1.10. This is a default IP address so you have to make sure the subnet of the IP address of PLC should be the same as of your PC. Okay, so if this is 10 or if this is 100 or 101, doesn't matter. Your IP address of PC should not be same as PLC. It should be different and it should be in the same subnet. Okay, so let's imagine my, let's see, I don't know what's the IP address. Maybe it's 10 or 20 or 30. Let's say I don't know. So I just put randomly 34 and I click OK, click OK. So that's for my Ethernet card. Now what I do is I open the software, PLC Next Engineer, this is the startup screen. And then you go to File and make a new project. I'll make a new project starting from scratch. Now that's my project, I will double click this one. And here I have my network domain. So what I do is I will just rename that to, let's say, PLC Next. Okay. Now start and end IP address. Now there can be multiple VLCs in this network. So I have to give a start and end IP address. So I know my subnet was this one and start is two and I will make 253, okay? And the default gateway 192.168.1 and one, okay? So my IP address will fall the IP address of PLC will be between these two, okay? Now I have to go to online device and then you have to select the Ethernet card. This is the one I have and click this one, scan the network. Now because my cable is connected to the PLC, it will find out if there is any PLC present. So it finds out there's a PLC with IP address 192.168.1.111. So this is already present in the network, okay? and that's the status and that's the subnet mask and that's the default gateway type and mac address so if you have multiple plc you can check which mac address belongs to which ip address so you know which plc you're talking to okay and here this is the first way how to find out what's the plc in your network all right then we will add this plc in our project okay so uh, we'll go to project. Okay. Now what you have to do is right click this one, this PLC, and click add to project. And then it will ask you for the version. I will select 2020 and I will click OK. So this will add this PLC in my project. Now you can see, see uh, you can see that the properties of this PLC is added to the properties of my project. Okay, so the IP address is now 192.168.1.111, okay? Now let's say in, in case I want to change the IP address. This is not what I wanted. So what you can do is, so just open uh, this properties of this controller and you can see in the settings, you have some IP addresses, okay? Let's say I want 110 and I change the IP address here, press enter and then again I go back to project Go back to online device and now you will see here there's a warning which says IP address does not match because in the project it's 110 and the online is 111. So how to make it synchronized? Just right click here, apply project device settings to online device. This will copy these properties to the online device which is this one. 
If I select the second option, it will take the properties from on lice back to my project. But that's what I that's what I don't want. I want project settings to online device settings. So I'll click here and you will see the status. It will wait. And then in few seconds, this will be copied here. Like that. So that's how you can change the IP address in your network. You can find the VLC using scan devices. You can change the IP address or you can copy the IP address from the VLC to the project or project to the VLC. So this was the main task of this lesson, how to configure the IP addresses, find the devices and apply the settings. Now, once we have done that, in the next video, we will see how to make a sample PLC project in PLC Next and how easy it is. So I'll see you in the next video.